During his public testimony last week, Michael Cohen presented two reimbursement checks he received for his crimes. One was signed by Donald Trump while the other was signed by Donald Trump Jr. and Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg. This stood out as potentially odd. Why would the payment method change like that? Now more checks have been revealed, and suffice it to say that something went terribly wrong during the payment process. Several of the reimbursement checks sent to Michael Cohen have now been obtained by the New York Times, and they reveal a clear pattern. The checks were initially being cut by the Trump Organization, which was consistent with the phony cover story that they were mere employee paychecks to Cohen. These were the checks were signed by Trump Jr. and Weisselberg. Then partway through, Cohen started receiving checks signed by Donald Trump from what appeared to be his personal bank account. This means that at some point during the repayment process, the Trump Organization decided to stop cutting these checks to Michael Cohen forcing Donald Trump to start paying Cohen directly. Trump certainly wouldn't have wanted to do it this way, as it was more work for him and more legal exposure for him. This almost certainly means that someone in the Trump organization refused to keep participating in the criminal payments. The only known adult in the Trump organization is Alan Weisselberg, so the most logical conclusion is that partway through the payments, Weisselberg concluded that they were all going to get busted for it, and he tried to put a stop to it. Considering that this occurred in late 2017, you have to wonder just how long Weisselberg has been cooperating with prosecutors. Looks like this whole thing went terribly wrong for Trump a long time ago.